Nintendo this week put out updated community guidelines for a number of things, including tournaments and uh, stuff you can show for their content online. I'm going to lump these, these two stories. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. Oh, I forgot I did that. Is that Jigglypuff in Animal Crossing? Uh, that is Jigglypuff in Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers on an Animal Crossing sa- stage. I don't remember if that's the Animal Crossing stage. It might be the Super Mario Galaxy stage. Okay, cool. Um, yes, he's talking about the thumbnail for the article. Um, so they, yeah, it was community tournament guidelines as well as image and video sharing guidelines. So they shared some updated stuff. And not surprisingly, the internet got a little bit angry about it because Nintendo does what Nintendo does. And they're going a little bit overboard. So when it comes to community tournament guidelines, they have updated a massive fact of what is and isn't allowed. And it's it's pretty wild. Like they 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 go really down the rabbit hole with like what they do and don't want. Uh, here you go. I'll give you a quick breakdown of the biggest points. Tournaments may not generate commercial revenue except as permitted by these guidelines. Tournaments may include up to 200 participants for in-person tournaments or up to 300 participants for online. Organizers that have reached a legal age of majority in their jurisdiction may collect entry fees from participants in an amount of not more than the equivalent of $20. So you can only get 20 bucks per person. That's all that's allowed. Entry fees collected may be used for covering the cost of organizing the tournament and towards prizes as well. No prize may exceed $5,000. Total cash value prize of a single tournament in a 12-month period can be no more than $10,000. Here's a weird one. No food and drink. Can't have food and drink at these tournaments. Why? I I don't know. I don't know why Nintendo thinks that shouldn't be allowed. Uh, obviously no modded versions of the game and all that stuff. Um, can't say that they're officially endorsed by Nintendo. That makes sense. Can't show off Nintendo products. Uh, games with online play must use online gameplay services or servers officially provided by Nintendo. So you can't do your own thing. Uh, all that stuff. So what's wrong with you? I, I don't know. So this is going to greatly impact how tournaments happen going forward because, you know, a lot of tournament for grassroots tournaments that are smaller, it's really not a big deal. But for tournaments that are bigger and wanting to bring in more people and stream online and get sponsors and sponsorships, now they're hamstrung. They are limited to what they are allowed to do. Now, what they can do, obviously, is contact Nintendo and be like, we'd like to run this tournament. Will you permit it? And Nintendo could say yes or no, but you would imagine Nintendo's going to say no because Nintendo's very strict about that kind of stuff. Um, and these companies wouldn't be reaching out to Nintendo to be like, "We want to run this tournament and we want you to sponsor," because that would probably be a flat out no. But they will have to contact Nintendo and be like, "We want to run this tournament. It's going to be bigger than 300 people. Is this okay?" And Nintendo decides based on who knows whatever Doug Bowser feels at the day, and not Doug Bowser. He's not doing anything. It's you know over in Japan whatever Shuntaro Furukawa decides. So I don't know how Nintendo comes up with these guidelines or why they feel like these, you know, monetary uh, restrictions have to be in place or why they don't want anybody to have food or drink at these events or uh, what happens if you don't follow these guidelines? Oh, uh, I guarantee someone's going to find out. Um, If Nintendo hears that this stuff is going on, you're going to get in trouble because you know the guidelines. So, what kind of trouble? You're not going to jail or anything, but you're going to be, I think you could be held liable for a lot of stuff, I would imagine. So if you're planning to run a tournament, go check out Nintendo's guidelines and try and figure out why they're doing all this stuff, because I got no clue. Um, and also, like I said, they changed um, how you can s- share images and videos of their content and how it can be monetized and they don't want mods and you're not allowed to monetize videos that have mods on them and so we know nintendo stands against mods and all that stuff not a surprise there but nintendo's really pushing harder now and being like you can't be monetizing these videos it's not allowed any uh anything that's presented online on your youtube channel or social media or whatever it has to be legit on the up and up and if it's not you're gonna be in trouble so 
Nintendo's just making it much harder for people to spread the word of their games. Um, and I know Nintendo feels like they have to protect their family image and they have to protect their their IP. And I certainly agree with a lot of that to an extent. But I don't know what Nintendo saw where they're like, we can't let them do tournaments that bring in more than $10,000. And we can't let them have sponsorships for these things. And we can't have tournaments that have over 300 people out there. That's not right. I don't know what data Nintendo has that makes them think that's something they need to say. But they do. And I completely disagree with that. Like I, I, I disagree with that based on the knowledge I have now. If I could see why Nintendo's making these decisions, maybe I'd change my mind. But Nintendo's not going to say that stuff. So who the hell knows? I and mean, the in the movie The Wizard, the, to the Nintendo tournament at the end is the most exciting thing. Like, I remember being blown away. And I was like, why isn't this in every city across the, uh, the country? A, it wasn't in every city, but it was across the country. That actually, ha like the Nintendo World Championships oh, were a thing. Nice. B, that tournament in that movie was an official Nintendo tournament, so it's allowed. It wasn't just a random one. Good. Think about how official it was. That was the first time anybody had played and seen Super Mario Brothers 3. So, man. Um, but yeah, uh, grassroots tournaments are, you know, I'm not going to say there's not horrible people doing horrible things, sure. But there's a lot of great people doing great, fun events, and it sucks that Nintendo's uh squashing the ability for some people to do these and again i'm not one that is like nintendo's horrible they do everything wrong when it comes to tournaments or anything i meet them halfway more than half the time because i can see where they're coming from with a lot of stuff but with most of these guidelines that they've released the updated guidelines even i'm questioning why are you doing this why do we need to be this strict why do you want to uh put such a stranglehold on this stuff i don't understand it Maybe Nintendo will be more permissive with these tournaments now that the guidelines are out and they're just looking for people to contact them through appropriate channels and get approval. Maybe that will happen. Only time will tell. But I think we, we all know that's right, Josh. See. I think we all know Nintendo enough to know they're probably not going to do that. But I hope I'm wrong. Uh, Oven Mitts says, these new rules are needlessly abrasive and stifle some of the company's biggest supporters. Why Nintendo would care about erroneous things like concession sales or if a tournament has over 201 in-person competitors at once is beyond me. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of pushback from the community and it's rightfully deserved. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. There will be pushback. There's already been pushback. Uh, I think they stifle a lot of their supporters. I certainly agree with that. But here's the thing. This is the other way we have to look at it. Are tournaments popular? Yes. Smash Brothers tournaments are very popular. Yes, people watch them online. What does that mean to Nintendo's bottom line? Pretty much nothing. Like, Nintendo's audience is so huge. And us as gamers tend to think, like, why, do they don't, why don't they listen to us? Why don't they hear our voice? It's because, really, the people that are online and are riled up by this kind of stuff and complain about it, are not the majority of the audience that's buying these games. Like, I, you know, I'd be pulling numbers out my ass. I shouldn't speculate like that. But the vast majority of people who buy like Smash Brothers or Splatoon or whatever, they're not running tournaments. They're not watching tournaments online. Like, you know, when you when tournaments are watched online, let's say it's a really big tournament. It's got a million viewers. Like, that's a drop in the bucket compared to what these games sell and the audience that they reach. And like. Uh, even you're going to get a fraction of that of people who are annoyed enough that they're like, I'm boycotting Nintendo. I'm not going to buy because of their rules. Like everybody online vibrato and online vitriol is one thing, but we've all seen it happen before. People are like, I'm not buying this game because of X, Y, and Z. And then the companies announces that this game is the best selling version of that game ever. So speaking Wrong. out of both sides of their mouth, as they say, but yes, I do not agree with what Nintendo's doing here. I don't understand it. I would love to know more about it or why, but I've covered Nintendo for 20 years. I know they're not going to give those details. I'd what be, rules? I hope I'm wrong. That's right. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but uh, I don't think I will be here. So that's where it stands now. The pushback's happening. It's not surprising at all. Um, I will say, uh, should I get into this? Uh, you know, maybe I will get into it, but I won't name names. Seems like a good way to do it.
<laughs> There's a very big YouTube channel. They are a tech YouTube channel. I'll leave it at that. Uh, no, I'll say one more thing. Uh, not too long ago, as in a few months, they were in some very big hot water for something that happened. It really turned me off to the channel. And to be honest, I used to like the channel a lot. But in the last couple of years, I've been like, ah, something I don't, something about this I, I don't like. And I, I decided to stop watching them. So I, I had stopped watching before this big thing happened. But then when that happened, I was like, I made the right decision here. So this channel company, whatever you want to call it, has heard about the Smash Brothers rules. And they're like, you know what? We're going to do a tournament anyway. Bring it on, Nintendo, and you can sue us, and we'll take you to court, and we'll fight for the people. And it's like, I don't know any other way to say it other than it's like edgelord stuff. It's like, I get you being upset, and I get not agreeing with the rules, but like, do you really think you're doing something by being like, I'm going to throw a tournament anyway, Nintendo, come and get me. Like, it, it's silly. Like it's, it, me, it, it's embarrassing it to me. me. Go ahead, do the tournament. It doesn't. I'm not saying don't do it. Go ahead, but to be like, we're gonna take Nintendo on and win. You're not, and you're just like right. trying to be an internet tough guy. It's, it's not silly. a protest against the Vietnam War or anything. Exactly. You know? like, this is my doing? point. <laughs> yes, to be like, yeah, like this. I'm not even gonna name specific events, but be like, I almost want to say i i need a button like h3 has i want to say something <laughs> and button it afterwards but yeah you're right to be like this is a such a earth shattering uh slight against humankind we're gonna put ourselves out there and you know fall on our swords for this it's it's a, it's a little bit embarrassing uh you know put together a documentary uh put together uh try and reach out to nintendo to talk to them uh, make a video online that drags them factually rather than just being like, eh, Nintendo's stupid, I hate them. You know, like, give me something of substance. Give me a video documentary or a, a, a well-written feature where I'm like, yeah, this is, this is the kind of stuff that needs to be out there. But be like, eh, Nintendo, we're going to do it anyway. Like, it's like, ah, oh, this is like, you know, something like a kid on a playground would say. It's just, you know, if you want to affect change there's ways you can do it and that's just going to be like well N that nintendo's going to see that and be like this is why we've made these decisions because there's people like this out there yeah